Its founders hope it will become the Guggenheim of wine. The 80 million euro Cité du Vin in the heart of France's wine capital, Bordeaux. This week, the exhibition inside the building opened to the public. We will surprise many people. Because we say we're not a museum, we don't have our own collection. The name Cité or City doesn't give much away. You can already see that from the response of the first visitors. The exterior is designed to make people curious and then inside comes the surprise. The exhibits are interactive and digital. The show is divided into 19 different themes, which visitors are invited to experience for themselves by trying things out rather than just reading the facts. One of the highlights is the buffet of the senses, seeing, touching, smelling. Visitors are taught the A to Z of wine tasting. We had a brief from the client for the competition that was originally about 365 pages long. Um, it was a big, thick brief and it was full of scientific content um, and a lot of very kind of nerdy wine information, some very dense information. So our challenge really was to try and make it entertaining for the general public. So to take the seriousness and, and, and the study that had gone behind the content, but actually make it fun. Wine is Bordeaux's number one export. The city has flourished for centuries thanks to the wine trade and wine is very much a part of life here. Expert V Nguyen teaches locals and tourists more about the region's wines. In people's minds, both in France and abroad, the name Bordeaux is seen as a mark of quality. You immediately think of grand old chateaus and vineyards. People come here especially for the wine, but then of course there's also the local expertise. Every year, Bordeaux's vineyards produce over four and a half million barrels of red, white, and fortified wines. Some of the very best wines come from the Chateau Haute Bailly vineyard. Véronique Sanders is in charge here, one of the very few top women vintners. She says there are good reasons why Bordeaux is known internationally for its quality wines. The Bordeaux vineyards are located on the 45th parallel. It's said that all the best wine-growing areas are located at this latitude. There are clearly geological and meteorological conditions that allow for these great vineyards, but that's not all. Wine-growing is a real art. You need expertise and the right touch. The Chateau Haute Bailly uses old traditional methods for producing its wines, most of which are exported. But the work of the vintners has nevertheless changed over time. These days, they don't just make wine in dark cellars, they also explain their work to visitors. We have always had visitors who are interested in our work. It's great for Bordeaux. And this kind of tourism has increased since the city was declared a UNESCO World Heritage Site. We're getting more and more visitors. At the Cité du Vin, those visitors can learn about the production and history of wine and explore their own personal taste, while this room allows visitors to experience the sense of being intoxicated without alcohol, just through music and projected images. We're not necessarily turning people into experts. We're, we're in lots of ways, we're actually trying to tell you that your taste is individual and you, and you shouldn't be intimidated by expertise. But nevertheless, there's this 6,000 years of culture. Um, and the more that you start to try and understand about that, the more interesting wine becomes. In the bar on the top floor of the Cité du Vin, visitors can sample different wines from all over the world while enjoying a panoramic view of Bordeaux.